Hello to you. How are you doing today? We're going to do a healing meditation with Oceanic Reiki today. And we are going to the Yonan Baths at Aquasuyas in Bath, which are still able to go and visit today, you're not able to swim in the green waters, but if you have a look on YouTube for the Roman Baths in Bath, in Somerset, UK, you will find an amazing structure with amazing history. And here is the goddess Sulis Minerva. Now she was a pagan goddess of England, Sulis, Aquasulis. And she had very many similar traits to Minerva. So the Romans were very good at adopting other cultures, gods, and merging their own with it. They merged Minerva, who is Athena, with Sulis. So we call her Sulis Minerva. So she is going to guide our journey today. And we're just going to gently relax and do a cleansing with the waters there. I think there are something like 51 minerals that go into the water. And we have some here. Let's have a look. Restorative contents of the water. Concoctive power, solution of gaffes. Old English there. Chaos of salts and mineral effluva of subterranean expiration. Cleanses the body from all blotches and scurvical makings and breakouts whatsoever. Recommended to all people of all degrees and all stations. So this was probably what you were told when you went. It says this water strikes the roof of the mouth with the fine sulfurous and steely gas. Its most sovereign virtue is to strengthen the bowels and restore their lost tone through impotence and renews the vital fire by its adventurous heat and congenial principles. There we go. Wonderful and most excellent. A galpent, I don't know what that word means. All defails of the body. This is all written in Old English. Of a moist cause as rumus aguas lethargis. Flashes. And pockets of defile. Weakness of any member. So there's a bottle of the water and you can't really see it here but actually the pool is lime green <laughs> you wouldn't want to swim in it now and you can see the steam rising because it is warm when it comes out and we can drink this water not in this bottle because the heat has gone out of it and apparently the heat is what activates all of the minerals but it actually tastes so, go and have a look at the baths in Somerset, England. And we're going to take a magical journey there today. Okay, so let's settle ourselves down. I'd like you just to imagine that you are somewhere in the English countryside of the magical summerlands of Somerset. 
near to Glastonbury, near to Wales Cathedral, and very close to the Roman Baths. Okay. And I want you to root down all those beautiful trees around you, the oak, the ash, and the thorn, and grow your roots down into the ground below you. Downwards and downwards. And downwards again. Sending your roots and shoots out to merge with the roots of these beautiful sentinels, these guards, these gatekeepers and holders of wisdom. We're just going to draw the Owen symbol for the grove, for all trees. So whatever trees is your favourite or you're seeing, we draw the cold. And one last time, rooting into the trees of your grove. Take a breath in and breathe down to your feet. We're also going to protect ourselves, so imagine a beam of sunlight shining down through the tree canopy and encasing you in that glow, that protective light. Calling your guides, your helpers, your angels, and we will call in Sulis Minerva. Sulis Minerva. Sulis Minerva. Come and be present here now. arrives in the form of her owl. You hear a hoot in the trees above you and you look up at that heart-shaped face of the owl. He cocks his head, spreads the wings a couple of times and takes off and you start to follow through the winding tracks of the forest. You keep walking. One foot in front of the other on the soft forest floor, heading towards the sacred spring, you draw in a choke away for extra protection. You dance in the light of the sun as it shines through the canopy, feeling the excitement of going to this new, wonderful place you've heard about. The water temple and the Roman baths, place of cleansing and devotion, where we can bow down to those sacred waters of love that comes out of Gaia's bow straight up to give us healing and warmth and comfort. And then you see a structure in front of you with great columns made out of a beautiful light coloured yellowish stone. This is the place 
of Aqua Sewers, a place of regeneration. A place where you can cherish the time you devote to yourself. You draw in the say hey key just to take hold as you walk through the entrance. And two figures are in front of you, two beautiful women, the goddess Sulis and the goddess Minerva, whose owl brought you here. These two beautiful goddesses have been merged by the Romans into one. Sulis offers clarity. She is a visionary and can help you be the same. Minerva brings intelligence and harnesses your full potential, helping you to gain this through strategium, thought and wisdom. They greet you now with beautiful smiles one of them reaches a hand out to you and you take it and as soon as this happens you are all enveloped in a mist you trust your inner compass to be led through this mist and out of the other side by the goddess who has taken your hand Once you have walked through this ethereal mist, you stand at the edge of a beautiful, beautiful pool. There is a walkway all around with Roman columns and stone benches cut into the walls. There are various other people who have been brought here for healing. The goddesses give you a fossil to hold, showing you that there are spirals of life at every single turn and they never stop. This also acts as grounding because it is so heavy and as you hold it you feel yourself being anchored down. The top, the opening, has been painted with a dragon or a serpent's head and there is a little tail at the end, a reminder that serpent energy is healing and changing and transformative. You put the fossil down. Minerva tells you to take a plunge into the waters. Do not hold back. It is time to go for it. And you dive in. You emerge in the sweet waters. Floating and enjoying the sensuality. The enjoyment. It brings balance and fertility. As you float, imagine the waters penetrating through your pores and in between every single cell, washing, washing and cleansing things away from you. As you enter the unknown depths, diving down, feeling the water cleansing through your crown and out of your root chakra, out of your feet and your hands, 
you feel this cleansing. You face your fears as you go deeper and deeper and deeper. Then when you have run out of breath, your feet touch the bottom and you push all the way up, emerging into the day in the sunlight. Again, if this makes you nervous, do it again and again until you know you have faced your fears, diving down, touching the bottom and then pushing yourselves up again and again, cleansing and clearing each time in these sacred waters. Releasing old patterns, the goddess is calling encouragement to you. Each time you plunge, you get an energetic tune up. New beginnings will be freed up by the space this chi frees up, this plasma, this heavy energy, this worry and anger and hate. We remove this now so that you can start your new beginnings. Let it go, they say to you. Release the past, forgive, soften, so that you can move forwards. The gentle forces of the water as you swim around. Feel consistent, so offer consistency. You persist in swimming even if you're a little scared and you exercise your patience so that you can cope with the long game in front of you. As you swim, the water codes enter your DNA, your mind, your aura, your body. Ancient wisdom being imparted into you from Gaia. Minerva shouts, the intelligence is within you. You know the answers already. You float on your back, rejuvenating, recovering, giving yourself time to heal. And Sulis tells you it is okay to stop and pause a bit in life, take time to think things over. And as you float, you enter a little channel into a smaller pool. This is where the warmth really radiates up from the earth. And you splash and scar yourself as you float in this beautiful, beautiful warm water. It is as if a bath has been drawn just for you. Follow the stream of warm water. Twist and turn in this little bathing lagoon. Notice the differences in how the warm and cold water mixes together. As you play in these warm and cold currents. You set your intention to dedicate and to trust 
in the rivers and streams that will make their presence known in your life. You head to the edge where the water is also trickling down a little bit, enough for you to sit under this tiny waterfall, also letting it cleanse and trickle down you. You open your mouth and drink some of the water, restoring your inner power giving you unbridled, conscious confidence. The liquid enters your mouth and trickles down your gullet into the stomach to be dispersed and all of those amazing minerals will get to work. Then you immerse yourself again in the warm waters. What will this bring you? As you decide to make some time for yourself, what hobbies, what new learning, what passions do you have and do you want to try? Now is the time. You now dive under the water again, swimming back through that little channel from the smaller pool to the larger pool beneath the surface. You ask yourself, what is it I'm diving for? What are my true motives? And how can I break free if I need to? Stagnant waters have been washed away. You don't feel stuck anymore. You ask your guides, your angels, your gods to help you with those shifts and the flow of change. The colours of the shell radiate that change with protection into that throat and that sacral, the places of creativity, of metamorphosis. Things will now be different as you make the waves, the momentum is bubbling up inside you, you can feel it building. It is your time now and you will achieve. We draw the Mother of Pearl Clan symbol into you, into that throat, into that bird eye. and into that solar plexus. The ripple effects are spreading outwards now as you become part of something bigger. Minerva tells you of the details have been taken care of in the spirit world, you will be on your way. Soul missions are being revealed in this planetary wave of energy. Trust the inner call of your soul team. You are she who flows, you are told. Being open to change and moving with the flows where life takes us. Let's go.
put this shell behind you now. Take a breath in and breathe out. Relax. Relax. As you are swimming now, both goddesses plunge their hands into the waters. And as they do, the green algae disappears and clear waters are revealed around you. They spread out from your aura and into your aura. Everything is fluid, everything is merging, but the goddess's energy has cleared your vision. It gives you confirmation and you can see the opportunities before you. If they are not revealed yet, just be open to things you are not used to and don't discount them straight away. As the waters become perfectly clear, you see something glinting in the bottom. You take a breath and you dive down, picking up the pearl of alchemy, a reward at the end of your healing. Push your feet on the bottom and you rise right up, emerging at the edge of the baths. You open your hand, revealing that pearl. Minerva and Suze smile at you now. They beckon you to climb out and one of them wraps a cloth around you as a towel and they lead you through the walkway towards the wishing well of offerings. Make a wish and throw your rainbow pearl in, you are told. So you hold the pearl in front of your heart and you make your wish. and then you throw it in. It rings out. Giving you sweet relief, offering new beginnings and showing you the way forward. You thank the goddesses now, showing your gratitude, appreciating the help that they are sustaining you, part of your guide team now. You thank both of these beautiful goddesses, the Sulis and the Minerva. And then she turns into the owl. And you know it is time to leave. You follow the owl out of the baths. And you start walking back through the woodland. Back to where you begin grounding in this experience with each step. Still holding on to your fossil, grounding in this experience. You're feeling refreshed and rejuvenated after your cleansing to open the way for new paths. 
Take a breath in and breathe down to your feet as you arrive back between the oak, the ash and the thorns. You sit down at the base of one of these trees. As the code symbol is drawn back into you, along with a symbol called Raku for grounding and separation from those old things that you washed out. Now, take a breath in and place your hands on the earth next to you as we do the countdown. Ten. Nine. Two and one. 